With volcanic activity in mind, the state of Hawaii's emergency management agency has a list of items you should include in a go bag should residents find themselves in an emergency situation. Some of the items on the list include changes of clothes and sturdy shoes, a portable battery or crank-powered radio, a copy of prescriptions, non-perishable foods like energy bars, beef jerky, and nuts, and a whistle. The good thing about that list is that even if nothing bad ever happens, they've got the makings of a great weekend in there. The bad thing is that if a new report on Hawaii's giant Moana Loa volcano is correct, the penetrating shrieks of those whistles could be lighting up residents' earlobes any day now. Here's what you need to know. New data has revealed more about what might set off eruptions at the world's largest volcano. In a study published in Nature Scientific Reports, researchers at the Rosenthal School of Marine and Atmospheric Science at the University of Miami modeled movements inside the Mauna Loa volcano in Hawaii, which, according to the U.S. Geological Survey website, has a summit of 17 kilometers or 56,000 feet above its below seafloor base. The researchers found that while there was recent movement along a fault under the eastern flank, relatively little movement was detected under the western flank. They concluded that an earthquake under the western flank is due. Alongside this, the researchers found that between 2014 and 2020, 0.11 cubic kilometers of new magma pushed its way into a dike-like magma body beneath the south of the volcano's summit. Given this magma influx, an earthquake of magnitude 6 or greater could cause an eruption, according to lead author of the study, Bhuvan Varugu. The last time Mauna Loa erupted in 1984, lava got within 10 kilometers, or 6 miles, of the outskirts of the city of Hilo, according to Encyclopedia Britannica, though it took weeks to do so. Evidence of smaller-scale seismic activity has already been found in recent weeks. Last week, the Hawaii Volcano Observatory recorded approximately 113 small magnitude earthquakes below Mauna Loa, mostly concentrated below the summit and upper elevation flanks of the volcano. However, the U.S. Geological Survey clarified in a statement on its website that while rates of deformation and seismicity at the summit remain slightly above long-term levels, the Mauna Loa volcano is not currently erupting. I don't know about you, but when someone tells me a volcano isn't currently erupting, I don't feel that reassured. It's like someone coming up to you and telling you a ton of bricks isn't about to fall on your head. It's better than them saying they are going to fall on you, but you do have to wonder why they've brought it up. Anyway, things could be worse. Scientists say they have evidence that points to a cataclysmic mass extinction event that helped the dinosaurs to rise to dominance. The theory states that the Carnian pluvial extinction event was triggered by a massive volcanic eruption that lasted 5 million years. This is called the Rangelian eruption, which happened around 234 million years ago in an area that is now western Canada. This 5 million year long eruption piled lava up to 6 kilometers high and caused the Earth's atmosphere to become 3 to 10 degrees warmer. Eventually, this global warming heated the oceans, and the ocean water evaporated much faster, causing 2 million years of incessant rain across the planet. Scientists call this 2 million years of rain the Carnian Pluvial Event. They say this overabundance of rain turned the Earth from a dry shrubland into a wet hothouse filled with rainforests. The extreme humidity and different plants of these rainforests caused serious challenges for the animals that dominated the Ladinian period. For reasons still unknown, this wet world killed off most of the dominant Ladinian period animals and plants, but led to a sudden abundance of early dinosaur types. Eventually, the eruption stopped, the rain stopped, and the earth became much drier again, leaving a world filled with dinosaurs and vegetation that suited them. The age of the dinosaurs had begun. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's surface where molten rock can escape. The Earth's crust is made up of tectonic plates that shift and move. Volcanoes are often located at the fault lines between these plates. Cinder cone volcanoes occur when lava is ejected from a volcanic vent. Lava is shot into the air and pieces accumulate around the vent. This creates a circular or oval-shaped cone with a bowl-shaped crater at the top. Composite volcanoes contain a conduit system that channels magma to the surface. These volcanoes can have clusters of vents along the sides of the mountain where lava flows out. Shield volcanoes are large, broad volcanoes where lava pours out in thin layers, allowing it to travel farther down the shallow slopes. They build up slowly, with hundreds of eruptions creating many layers. Lava domes are created when small masses of thick lava can't flow far from the source, so domes pile up around the vent. 
The dome grows by expansion of lava from within, and the mountain forms from material spilling off the sides of the dome. Chilean officials issued a red alert on Monday, and thousands of people were evacuated from the area prior to the explosion. Volcano Villarica is one of the most active volcanoes in South America. A stratovolcano, Villarica was formed by many layers of hardened lava and volcanic ash. Villarica also has a crater at the brim, created when the volcano's magma chamber was emptied after a previous large eruption. As with most stratovolcanoes, Villarica is capable of erupting with great force because gases dissolved in the magma increase pressure within the volcano. The gas is released at the top along with the magma. Prior to the eruption, 3,385 people were evacuated from two nearby towns as a precaution after Chilean officials noticed activity in Villarica's crater this past week. Villarica erupted on Tuesday morning at around 3 a.m. local time, spewing lava and ash 1,000 meters into the air. Volcanic ash from the explosion is expected to cover considerable distances and travel to parts of neighboring Argentina. She's about to blow. Volcanic eruptions from Bali's Mount Agong has caused officials to cancel flights and evacuate around 24,000 residents. Mount Agong erupted on Saturday night and three times on Sunday, sending a thick ash cloud thousands of meters up into the atmosphere. Bali's international airport was forced to close. Massive plumes of ash have been blowing towards the east, which also caused Lombok International Airport on Pulau Lombok to temporarily close. An exclusion zone up to 10 kilometers from the crater has been put in place, with officials warning anyone still in the area to leave. Agong is classified as a stratovolcano, also known as a composite volcano. They are conical volcanoes built up by many layers of hardened lava, tephra, pumice, and volcanic ash. Mount Agong erupted for the first time in 50 years in September, prompting an evacuation of more than 185,000 people. In 1963, a large eruption killed around 1,100 people. A new study has found that the idyllic New England region could eventually become a hotbed of volcanic activity. Using data from earthquake measurement devices, Rutgers University researchers analyzed the speed and direction of seismic waves to visualize subsurface conditions. They detected a massive upwelling of hot rock under Vermont, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts after noticing the area was noticeably hotter than neighboring regions. Though the hot mass is slowly and steadily rising, it will take millions of years before it reaches the surface and reshapes the area's geography. Or create a volcano. Scientists say what's happening in New England may be similar to the onset of the Yellowstone supervolcano. It emphasizes how intricate and dynamic the Earth's subsurface features are and definitely warrants further study. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.